Welcome to the introduction of the new two and a half inch hose load for Heartland Fire and Rescue. This hose load consists of 600 total feet of two and a half inch line. Two 100 foot working bundles on the left stack. The center and right stack are each 200 feet connected in the center for a 400 foot trunked line. We will now demonstrate how to load the 400 foot trunk line, which is the center and right stack in your hose bed. We'll start by draping the female coupling from the first length of hose to be loaded, approximately three feet past the hose bed, and begin to load the first section of hose right in the center of the bed. As soon as the hose is in the bed, we're gonna immediately move it over to the right side and take it all the way back. The way that the new hose load works is the trunk line is two stacks of 200 feet, with the right hand stack being pulled first. This cross from the center of the bed to the right of the bed keeps these stacks separate in the event that we only want to pull one. It doesn't pull out the second one inadvertently. The first fold on the right stack is an indicator loop, approximately four to six inches long, past the edge of the hose bed. The following folds will be placed even with the edge of the hose bed until a coupling is bedded. For this hose load, there are no short folds or Dutchmans required. Here you can see an example of an indicator fold on the bottom and a regular fold at the edge of the hose bed. Remember that this hose load will function best if the hose is just laid in with no Dutchmans or short folds. You can see here the coupling is close to the edge. Just lay it in as normal, and then the next fold that comes will be that indicator fold, which will be four to six inches, the same length as before, but not necessarily touching. Here's another coupling that ends up close to the edge. We'll lay it in as normal, and you can see here that we're gonna make another indicator fold. The indicator folds are always gonna be four to six inches in length, and they're not meant to touch each other. A special note is that the indicator folds are not pull loops. These are meant to tell you every 50 foot section in your hose load. So the right hand stack will continue until 200 feet is loaded. You can see here a good demonstration of indicator folds and edge folds. And we're going to continue to load this until the last male coupling is 12 to 18 inches on top of the hose load. It will not be connected to anything, it will just sit there idly for now. When finished loaded, the right hand stack should look like this. We'll now load the center stack by taking the female coupling all the way back to the back of the hose bed. It's important to note that this should not be connected to any plumbing whatsoever. Remember that the center and right stack are considered trunk lines, so it's a dead load, not connected to any plumbing at all. Since we bedded a coupling, we'll make an indicator fold and load this stack just as we did the right stack right next to it. As the final male coupling comes to the top, you'll bring it on top of the stack and leave it. We'll then reach down and grab the first female coupling and connect them. This connects the center and the right stack together. The reason that we want the three foot whip at the beginning is to ensure that the coupling is up high enough into the bed so that it doesn't fall out. Longer is better than shorter but your guideline is to make sure that it can't fall out of the bed. The last step is to attach a two and a half smoothbore nozzle and stack it on the right hand stack. Make sure that it's in the bed far enough so that it can't fall out while the rig is in motion. We'll now load the left stack. The left stack consists of two 100 foot working bundles. To start, We'll take the male coupling and bring it into the hose bed on the left side, just past the halfway mark, and set it down. Here, we will make one 
no more than 12 inch fold and then load the hose in a flat load configuration. And just like in our previous stacks, we'll just load this flat as it lays with no short folds or dutchmen. For the remainder of the 100 feet, the rest of the folds will be even with the hose bed. We'll continue loading this for 100 feet until the final female is brought into the hose bed. Bring the coupling to the back half and this completes the first 100 foot working bundle. We'll now load the second 100 foot working bundle and we'll start by placing the male coupling 12 inches into the hose bed. We'll now make another no more than 12 inch fold and continue to load this 100 feet of hose into the hose bed in a flat load configuration. No short folds, no dutchmen. The reason that we put the male so much closer to the edge of the hose bed is on this top 100 foot working bundle, you're more likely to put a control point or a nozzle on it, and this makes it easily accessible. Continue loading in a flat load until you get to the final female coupling. It will then be placed 12 to 18 inches from the edge of the hose bed. Remember that each working bundle is 100 feet in length. From the top view here, you can see as the coupling rests that all couplings are easily accessible with this new hose load. This is a demonstration on how to deploy the unobstructed pole for the trunk line. Simply reach up and grab the nozzle or control point and pull the hose straight out for the desired length. The engineer will then break the closest coupling to the engine and make a connection. This method of deployment is called the modified Minuteman or obstructed pole. You will first receive an order for the desired amount of hose. This is the reason that we put the indicator folds so that we know every 50 foot section of hose has an indicator fold so we can figure out our desired length. In this example, the order was given for 100 feet of 2.5 inch hose. Once the desired amount of hose is found, secure the nozzle or the control point and pull it down so that it can be cleanly put on your shoulder. A good rule is to try to get the folds about at your hips or waist. Then you will twist to bring the hose onto your shoulder and ideally the loops will be even from the front and back. You can then walk the hose out and it will pay off the top. This deployment will start the same as the modified Minuteman or obstructed pole. The first firefighter will select the correct amount of hose, secure the nozzle or the control point, and place it on their shoulder. The second firefighter will then grab their desired length of hose, and while controlling it, they will turn and flip it onto their shoulder. The second firefighter will flake their hose off the top first. When all of their hose has been deployed from their shoulder, the first firefighter will continue, and the hose will then pay off the top of their shoulder. The first step is to grab the fold in the center stack and disconnect the couplings. You will then need to disconnect the nozzle or control point from the right hand stack. Once you have both male couplings in your hands, turn and step off of the apparatus and pull the hose out to the desired location. This will give you two male couplings with equal length of hose to connect to an FTC, master stream device, or whatever you need it for. Remember with all methods of deployment of these hose loads, it will be the responsibility of the engineer to break the coupling closest to the engine and make the appropriate connection. When shoulder loading with the working bundles, 
we'll grab the top stack of 100 feet. If you recall when we loaded it, the male coupling is just 12 to 18 inches inside the hose bed. This is to provide easier access to that male coupling to install a nozzle or control point before deploying the hose. Grab the first pull or indicator loop and pull the hose about 12 inches out. This will give you access to that male coupling. Once the nozzle or the control point is installed, place it onto the tailboard of the rig. While controlling the hose, pull the bundle out and place it onto your shoulder. Remember, it's not to be flipped here. Once the hose is in the appropriate position on your shoulder, grab your nozzle or control point and pull the hose out. You now have a 100 foot bundle here on your shoulder ready to deploy. Another option for the working bundle is a supply pole. Simply reach up and grab the female coupling and walk it out to your source of supply, such as a hydrant or another pumper.